Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? This is Paul here. Um, so, um, you might be asking yourself, what's this series is about and what is does it have to do with pretty much everything? Well, first of all, this series is totally different than the series from Presidential Gaming. The reason why is so that there is no presidents, no nothing, just abs normal wrestling action. For the mayor. For the mayor. It's a story that I want to make up. It can make sense or not make sense to me, for that matter. And stuff like that, too, for that matter. So, this series is going to be pretty good. First of all, there's going to be no AI. Because, say, we know, um, what's the point of AI if you don't know how to make it correctly. For that matter. So, that'll be the first thing. Next up, there'll be no swearing or nothing. You can... You can use your imagination of how they talk and all stuff like that too, or so that regardless, it's going to be the same for that matter. So this first episode is um, probably a special guest for a rematch for just to just, just to let you know. Wait a minute, between um between um way Wyatt and the fiend himself now way Wyatt is dead in real life but that doesn't mean we can still use him in our story for that matter and i honor that man for being creepy and doing all sorts of weird stuff i really honor that man and i thought though what better way to honor him than having two of his ego being co collide for that matter so that's the point. I mean, in some way, shape, or form. So, we're going to start off with that episode, and then the part that's going to happen is there's going to be a brawl in this episode where Bad Bunny, which I'm going to mention in a little bit, Bad Bunny is a brawl with the Fiend. The Fiend. And stuff like that, too. And we're going to find out if he survived or not. Now, here's the twist. Bad Bunny is going to be the special guest referee. So, he's going to wait order to what's going to happen for that matter. Now, there will be something happening during my game when I was doing the recording, but there will be something happening to Bad Bunny and, of course, the other stuff. So, I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you want more of the series. And also, follow me on Discord for that stuff like that. If you want me to do something, and also, just to be nice, if you want a rec match request, let me know, and I will do my best to request them. So, without further ado, here's here's the match and the ball. So, enjoy. Here's somebody ready to call it like he sees it. Well, I see him as boring. The following contest is a special guest referee match. Please welcome the special guest referee for this match. He is the most streamed artist. thought I would make a great referee. Way better than this clown. Maybe it's time for a career change. What, you? Wearing zebra stripes? Enforcing the rules? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, forgive me, Corey, but I'm not sure you passed even your first refereeing exam. There's exams? Plural? Never mind. I'm out.
The door has been opened. Out comes the darkness. And Wyatt says what happens next, not his fault. We have all watched as Bray Wyatt has slowly spiraled out of control. No, I think this is what was always in there, just bubbling below the surface. Yeah, Byron, but now it is completely taken over. Ray Wyatt has given himself over to the feed. One of the most malicious, venomous, bizarre superstars in WWE history. Ask anyone who has had the misfortune of coming into contact with The Fiend. It is an experience that will change your life forever. And certainly not for the better. I know his hands say hurt and heal, but The Fiend seems to focus more on the hurting. Where The Fiend goes, suffering follows. This frightening monster is ready to devour anyone who stands in his way. An eerie supernatural force, and at times seems totally unstoppable. Good luck to his opponent. The Fiend is unlike anyone or anything we've ever seen before. And things are a bit more interesting here in this one as we have a special referee officiating the action. 
There are already so many moving pieces in a map. Oh, and soon we could be seeing a submission here. There's and he very quickly counters. Look out. Chuck bomb. And into the count. Two. Almost. Two and a half. Nice work fighting off the pin attempt. He's right on top of the action, calling it down the middle. What a crossbody. A shot to the oh. back. Shades of the USSR with a hammer and sickle. It'll take things into the ring. Tossed around like a rag doll. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. Bray Wyatt's so explosive in the ring for a man his size. Absolutely. He can end it here. And he easily stops the ref's count. And our guest official calling that one down the middle. Gotta commend our official. Saw the shoulders down and responded accordingly. There's press! And the piston-like right hands! There's press! And will this be it? What? Oh, he kicked out. Looks like our guest official is pretty good at this ref thing. You can't accuse our guest referee of going into business for himself after that fair count. Yikes, that'll either wake you up or knock you out. He's lost some of his win now. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Oh, right to the throat. Ooh. Looking to cripple the leg. He thinks he has it. Stop the ref count before two. Our guest referee with a textbook count. That officiating is almost too good. In fact, I'd say it's suspiciously fair and balanced. Oh, God, that hurt. Assaulting the knee with purpose. Cuts him off. Say good night. Sleeper hold lock. Oh, could be night night time. No, no, maybe not. What a counter. Things are getting risky. This will not end well. Suplex on the apron. That was worse than being hit by a cinder block. Oh, he got him. Is he going to lock this in? And he very quickly counters. Sister Abigail delivered by Bray Wyatt. Bad predicament right here. Location has the least give out of the entire ring. And he tosses him back in now. Bray setting himself up top. From the top, diving double axe handle. Cover. And they kick out at two. And that was an honest count. No one can argue that. You can tell the ref has set his feelings aside with a count like that. Uh-oh, this is not going to look pretty. Submission being applied. Uh, this one's over. Tap out coming. And he may have felt his grip slipping, so he releases the hold. It still was able to produce some considerable damage, though. Setting up for something here. Oh, man, taking it to the trachea. He thinks he has it. No, stops the count. Two. He's counting too slow. Ridiculous. A complete lack of professionalism on the part of our official. What is going on here? I don't really see what the purpose of that was. Oh, this is just disrespectful. And an elbow drop for added measure. Now Wyatt has the firm upper hand. The Fiend needs to find a way to get back on the saddle. He's finding himself in trouble here. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. throw your body around, you eventually
actually meet the pavement. Sister Abigail. Nowhere to hide from that malicious attack by the Fiend. Trying to sink his opposition into the darkness. Boom. Stiff kick. Boy, the face. Is this necessary? Rip it at the eyes. And the sadistic Fiend with yet another devastating attack there. For better or more likely worse, the Fiend could possibly go all night at this pace. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. Fez Press raining down right hands. No, oh, he's shoving it down his throat. Night night. Is it enough to overcome Bray? Two. And he's still in the game. There is something inhuman in the soul of Bray Wyatt. It's the only explanation for what we just saw. And keeping attention to the official, I saw no fault with his count at all there. All right, let's talk about our referee for a second. What have you examined? Solid officiating so far in this match. Sticking right to the rule book, being on top of every count. A mostly fair job this far. And Bray just taunting his opponent now. Saving us from having to sit. Uh oh, mandible claw! Mandible claw! Did Bray end it there? There's two! No! My, that was close! Unbelievable presence of mind. I thought he was unconscious. Well, what? Oh! Diving set time! Bah! That was amazing. So well matched. These men aren't giving up any ground. Showing their strength of will, their refusal to back down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And just got caught with that DDT. The Fiend has no control here. Bray has clearly frozen the opposition with fear. My God. Enough. Will it be? Why did the ref call for a break there? That was completely unnecessary. Beautiful senton. Claw in the face. Is this necessary? Rip it at the eyes. And you can tell these attacks are disorienting. Him. Sustained attacks up in that area could cause impaired vision. Wyatt taking pride in his handiwork. More like taking glee, but you can't deny the effect. Of oh, there it is. The man of You cannot say they didn't give it their all and then some to achieve this victory. I almost don't believe it. The Fiend taken down tonight. But how long before this monster rears his head again? Could be sooner than we'd like. These two need to think of the long-term effects that battling backstage will do to their careers. Well, the long-term effects could be drastic. Anything can become a weapon back there. One of them could catch a chair in the face or get cut on broken glass. Even worse, destroy catering. Well, I pray that nothing like that happens here, guys. Going well, for a power slam, steps down. Instead delivers the inverted DDT. position to be in right now. Right through the car window.
Fending off the Fiend. Oh my God, look at this. What is he doing here? Oh, what a headbutt. Looks like Bad Bunny got busted up on that one. Setting it up. Thunderous clothesline. Oh my God, look at this. What is he doing here? Headbutt. Headbutt. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Opening the ambulance doors. We know what's going through this competitor's mind. Catching a drop kick. Headbutt to the back of the neck. Good grief. That's a chop that'll wake you up. Hooked up. Great power. Inverted suplex. <laughs> and a counter by Bad Buddy. Oh, from behind. Oh, wow. Frankensteiner. Nice. Connecting with a standing moonsault. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. He skirts around it. Flying Majorana, beautiful. Well-placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Right to the kidneys from behind. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. Oh, round and round we go. Tilt the world head scissors. Adding insult to injury and more injury with that stop sign. Front face lock applied, hoist it up, sit out, broken arrow. Oh, bad. That was brutal, but it looks like this brawl's over now. Now, can we get some help back there, please?